Welcome back as we work to connect with each other and with Jesus. Well, today I have a few different baking items with me as I'm here in the kitchen. And one of the things that I was reminded of is that in baking, most of the food we eat is a combination of multiple items. And when those items come together, it produces something good. But most of those items aren't good or worth eating just by themselves. For instance, I'm just not going to take a drink of vegetable oil. That doesn't sound good. I'm not going to have a spoonful of shortening. That, that's just not appetizing. It's not good. Even, even baking soda is not something that I'm just going to eat by itself. But then you also get the items like vanilla extract or baking cocoa. That these are the things that add flavor. But by themselves, they're not good. It's not something that you're just going to eat without other things adding to it. But when we put certain items together, it changes and it becomes something that is good. That the combination of those items produce something that's desirable and that's appetizing. Well, in Luke chapter 13, Jesus talks about the kingdom of God. And he says the kingdom of God is like a little bit of yeast that works its way throughout the entire batch of dough. And that yeast changes the dough. It changes its potential, it changes what it can become. So now when the dough is cooked, it rises and it becomes fluffier, it becomes more elastic, and just a different type of bread than it was without it. One of the things that people try to do is they try to follow Jesus without allowing him to be worked through their entire life. We try to compartmentalize Jesus. So instead of having Jesus be part of everything that we are, you know, we'll just take a drink of Jesus. We'll just have Jesus by himself. So what happens is that the parts of our lives that don't have Jesus become less, less satisfying. They're not as good. We don't reach our fullest potential. But when Jesus is able to work through our entire lives, it changes us. It helps us reach that potential. It helps us live a life that's satisfying. And it helps us live a life that is impactful for him. And it changes us. But also, you know, some, some of us, when we talk about the kingdom of God and participating in the kingdom of God, maybe you're oil. Maybe you're the baking soda. Maybe you're the vanilla extract. So by yourself, you can't do all the work that God has called us to do. But when we work together, we can make something beautiful. Not because of us but because we've allowed Jesus to work in and through us and we're working in concert with each other. I need Jesus to work through my entire life. And then I need to work in concert with other people so that Jesus can use us and shape us and mold us into the church, into the community that he has called us to be. And when we do that, we will show the world, we'll show people the redemptive possibilities through Jesus Christ. And they'll see that what we are is good, not because of us, but because of Jesus in us and how Jesus has worked all the way through us to change us, to help us, and to enhance us. Stay connected to each other and to Jesus.